Hey guys, Zen Fancy here with some buddies. We are suiting up to do some tactical shooting. We're at a professional range in the western U.S. And uh, let me tell you, first off, as I kind of go around the room, show you some of the equipment we're using, things we're doing and things we're not doing. Um, these are just buddies getting together and having a good time. It's not really designed to be like a gun sight training. Yeah, we got certain courses of fire we're going to run and, and work. However, uh, we don't purport to be blackwater operators, you know, tactical gurus. Um, we're learning on our systems just like most of the viewers of this video are doing. Unicy is running a lot of 1022s. Uh, hopefully going from 1022 to pistol transition as we get closer and that's what we're working on. Uh, 22 ammo is cheap. We're also going to shoot some tactical carvings as well. You'll see that coming through. Uh, I got one right here. Hey, funny that I would have a Leatherman when someone asks. Please, <laughs> could I please have your Leatherman? <laughs> here it comes, dude. Oh, look. Oh, he beat oh, me to it. Oh, nice. nice. All right, so uh, you're going to see a variety of rigs. Uh, once we get out in the sun, and we're going to, I'll go over the rigs and maybe have the user of that rig tell you what, what their thinking is behind it. A lot of different systems out here to carry ammo, maybe a blade or two, and you know, your sidearm as well. Uh, a couple 1911 guys running here, and we're going to be having a good time. And that is the first, actually, goal one is for safety. And we just finished our safety briefing. We have a list of safety rules on the wall, which we adhere to as best we can. Any questions on that? You can refer to the Nut and Fancy safety video, and it's pretty much what I said in that with that SIG pistol. And then uh, also we're out here to have fun. Uh, yeah, we're going to run our tactical course or the course of fire that we set up, and that's all fun and good. Um, and you're going to get trained in the, in the process. In other words, you're going to work... You know, learn about your gear. You know, this guy's wearing rifle plate, right? This is Bugget Nuster, by the way. Look familiar? <laughs> He's running his rifle plate today. And, uh, you know, you learn. You learn by doing. Every time you go out in the woods, every time you go out on a tactical shoot like this, especially under stress, which we hope to induce a little bit, you will learn. Okay, so that's the introduction. Thanks for joining us. We'll just show you as it goes along. Nothing fancy. There's a bucket nuster and sadly missing right there, bucket nuster. Confirming zero on the 1022 prior to running, gunning. We're at the shoot house at about 26 yards. In our race sticker, you know it. What's up? Tactical doodle. That's okay. Uh, I'll shoot in the doorway. Is nothing okay for you then? Nothing's fine. All right. How about ass lips? What? That works too. You'll want to come down about uh, inch and a half, nothing. You got it. I heard that. Someone rip one? <laughs> hey, you've nailed the up and down. Um, went a little too far back to the right. <laughs> All right, hopefully I won't dig this out. 1022s with whatever pistol you want. I don't care what you shoot. You want to shoot center fire, shoot center fire. If you run the course with center fire, do it. But I don't, for me, for the first couple times, I'm running 1022s. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is, that, see that barrel back there? Both shooters start at the barrel. You're going to have one 24-round mag loaded with the chamber open. Any questions on that? When you come to this stage, shooter number one, which is this shooter, branches out over here. He comes to the 50-yard line, walk with me. Drop to a kneeling position. You're going to fire three rounds in each of the bad guys. See those windows down there? Those are bad guys. Three rounds in each position at each bad guy. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then you run to the 25-yard line up here. Yard mark. Same thing. So how many rounds am I shooting kneeling in each target? Three. How many am I shooting in each uh, when I'm standing? 
three. Okay, here you do not kneel. Here you do not kneel. It's standing only from seven yards. Three in each target. One, two, three. One, two, three. At that point, you're out of rounds because you had 18 rounds. You're transitioned into pistol. As you go into pistol, pistol comes out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up to three. Questions? That's the course of fire. The last, uh, the last point Questions? that we Does your everybody understand? Left. If you dick it up, don't worry about it. You're going to have a referee behind you. The referee is going to be a safety monitor, okay? And he's going to score you. 25 round, 10, 22 max, or AR, whatever you're shooting. You need 24 rounds in the first one. That's going to be in the gun. 18 rounds in the second, whatever pouch or system you're going to use. Weapons are slung. They're Man, I was jamming like crazy. I'm going to run some better ammo. Okay, I don't know if there's a point in scoring that. You want to score them? Well, my uh, first round sucked. Uh, I had reliability issues with my Butler Creek barrel and that cheap federal Walmart ammo. I had like three misfires. It was pretty embarrassing, but uh, I'm going to transition to a better ammo, CCI. Hopefully that'll help. And here we go. We're getting running our next two shooters. They're topping their magazines off. Temperature warmed up to a balmy 2-0, 20 degrees, so that's nice. So right, here's the issue. People want, it, want the gun to go right now, don't they? Yeah. And the problem is then you yank the trigger and the gun rounds are going to go low left or low right. What you want to do is, if your crosshairs are in an acceptable range of motion... So if they're moving in an acceptable arc, concentrate on trigger pull. Squeeze the trigger and you'll hit every time because somewhere in this range it's going to go off. Whereas if you have to wait till it's right here and then you yank the trigger, it's going to go down here. Not that we don't mind shooting him here, but the point is, so don't, don't be frenetic about your accuracy, particularly at longer distances. Our friend here, sadly missing, is a professional tactical firearms instructor, by the way. Let's get going. Here, here. Excellent. There you go. One, two, three. Each humanoid target. Okay, are we set? Shooters okay. ready to go. The timer. Okay. Each one has a safety monitor. Go. Keep that in. Keep up, keep up, let's go. Oh, uh, open. Bolts open. You stopped this time, right?
Okay, transition to pistol. Three in each target. One, two, three. Hold it. Okay. How easy is this? It's tough. It's tough running in the snow. It's tough running with the... Uh... Here, I gotta get a picture of this. Give it to me. I gotta get a picture. Shut it. So far, all the delays have been... I'm talking to someone who knows what they're doing. They've all been malfunctions. Yep. A lot of malfunctions with the 22 today. It's really cold weather. Yep. Amen, brother. Need hot ammo. ARs, it'll run a little bit better, I think. Also, if you run a premium quality ammo in your 22s, it might help a little bit. We're dealing with... But it's good to learn the course of fire cheap. Here it comes. Sorry. That's all right. Dude, I totally turfed it on that hard. You did? Yeah, I was feeling it. I was like. And like that? Just like that. Shooters, mentally prepare with, for what's coming. This is training, but at the same time, there's a little bit of gamesmanship involved. Mentally prepare what you're going to do at 50, 25. You know you're going to do a magazine change at 25. Mentally go through where that magazine is located on your person. Basically, you're just mentally prepared for every stage, and you'll find you'll shoot it a lot better. Wait. Finger off trigger! Finger off trigger! Go, 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 go! Finger empty. out of the trigger. Then transition gun. pistol. Just empty it out. Shoot to your empty fast. Transition pistol. Now three yards walking. Yeah, three moving. rounds. You're empty. You gotta reload. It's home safety's on. That's correct. Safety's on. Bolts open. The bolts don't bolts close open. until you pass the 50-yard mark. The bolt. All right, stand by. Here we go. And go. Okay, stand Figure straight and holster. Nice. I must have ticked up my side. round yeah. count. I've... You shot too many back there. I had the wrong magazine in. Did you? Yeah, I had them reversed. It's pretty. I went pretty good, actually. How's you out there? Pretty good? Uh, my battery went dead on my scope, so I had to go to my backup site. Dude. See guys, this is the kind of stuff that will happen in real life. All your systems, something's going to go wrong. Murphy's Law, I can pretty much guarantee it. It's so nice learning that here and learning what you can do to minimize that. And that's all you're going to do is minimize it. doesn't mean you're going to get rid of it. Who's Range Master? Not me. Okay. Shooter's ready. Go!
Oh, right, that's right. We're doing yeah. totals, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thank you. 24 in this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. I got 25. 45 is. Let's see. I felt pretty good about that round, except I kind of screwed up my round count at 7 yards. Sorry. Okay, Boggett Nuster, you saw him up in the mountains. Here he is again in his tactical form. He's running uh, Safari Lance 6004 1911. What, tell us about that gun. Uh, it's just a Kimber with uh, all, all the MIM parts removed. Some other uh, custom work done to it, but it's pretty stock. Okay, uh, how's your vest? And tell them what you're wearing in the vest. I think I mentioned it, but I don't know if I'll splice I got that clip. Load. It's uh, 8 mags, uh, 4 mags. Um, it's a London Bridge, a 1961A, I think. And then you have rifle plates, right? And then a rifle plates. So how's that working, having that weight? Uh, it's heavy. There's just no way around it. But yeah. uh, it's the first time I've run them, and I wanted to see what it was like. So, uh, yeah, it's a challenge getting uh, getting moving in the snow and getting stopped. For my two cents, I think uh, rifle plates in the winter are a lot easier. In the summertime, when it's freaking hot, 100-plus, wearing plates, plus... All this, uh, all this gear plus a knife over here, that's a lot of weight. Would you agree? It is, but depending on what you're doing, the mission drives the gear. That's not what the I other said. Around. And here. Kneeling at 15. Oh, no, go, 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 go. Kneeling at 15. Standing and kneeling. Three rounds each position on each target. Stand. Stand. Moving. Move, move, move. Finger off trigger. Good job. Here's some of the ARs being run today. Uh, most are not mine. I'm running that center one with an Aimpoint ML2. There's an ACOG 1.5 on that one. Got an EOTech running on that one. By the way, the batteries died on that user during the course of fire, so he kind of had to transition to backup iron sights. He had him co witness though, so it worked out pretty good, right? Right. It was kind of threw you off guard, though, didn't it? You're kind of like, ah! Yeah, a little bit of a surprise. I had it on earlier in the day and forgot to shut it off. Yeah. All right, running it some more. Beautiful day out here. Check it out.